Well, after a little driving, finally made it up to the Fox River. Hopefully chase some walleyes and maybe some pike tonight. Um, it's really windy out, and I film on my phone, so I'm going to try to do the interviews and stuff in my car or in the shack because otherwise you're just going to hear a bunch of sound every single time I turn on the microphone. So we'll see what happens, get stuff out, and get going. shack right now it is like six degrees out and super windy so don't usually like to be stuck in the shack but definitely have to be in the shack if you want to fish today um, I was hoping to catch some walleyes but everyone here says that they're just catching whitefish so I guess we'll just catch some whitefish but they say they're gonna get some walleyes later so that's perfect I've never caught a whitefish before hopefully we can get one or two of those and then uh, get some walleyes later nobody else has tip-ups or any kind of set lines out so I kind of feel a little weird because I just put out a tip up in an auto fisherman. Um, but, you know, that gives us a better chance to catch something. So we'll see what happens. Um, so we started out with the classic uh, Buckshot Northland spoon and a minnow head because that's what I was going to use for walleyes. And I know you that's similar to what they use for whitefish. But I saw an in-depth outdoors the other day where they were taking swim baits and just pounding them on the bottom to try to interact or interact, intimidate it. Imitate. imitate a goby so hopefully we're going to uh, imitate a goby and maybe that'll trigger these fish to bite we're marking a ton of them everyone that i talked to said they were marking a bunch but couldn't get them to bite so maybe that'll be the key well i was not getting anything to bite but the guys that were walking off the ice as i was coming on were saying they were super finicky and i actually just talked to some other guys who were walking on the ice now and they said that they're getting walleyes on jig and wraps about a half hour before dark it's three o'clock now, it gets dark at five. They said as soon as it gets dark, it pretty much shuts off, which is nice because it's Sunday night and I wanna go home early. Um, so three o'clock now, if it gets dark at five, 4.45, I'll probably switch to jig and wraps at around 3.45, but now I'll probably give another half hour with a spoon, hopefully get one of these white fish. You guys wanna hear something depressing? After three hours of jigging the exact same hole because it's so cold out, I can't even like get outside the shack and windy. I finally got a bite after seeing over a hundred fish come up to either my spoon or my jig and wrap and not eat it. I finally got a bite and I couldn't reel, so I kept because I had my mittens on, so I kept lifting my rod to keep tension on them, and then I hit the top of the shack and gave him slack and I lost it. So that really sucks. If I don't catch a fish for the rest of the day, that'll definitely be the worst fish I've ever lost in my life. I got one coming up. There he is. Oh, feels pretty nice. Here. Oh, here's that the hole. Oh, yep. Ah. There we go. First fish of the day. Oh, only took till late, late afternoon to get him. On the jigging wrap. Switch to him. There he is, about 20 inches or so. Awesome. First Fox River walleye. Right there. Beautiful. Let's get one down. Get him jig back down and get another one. Guys, it's January. I'm not sure if you hear that outside. There's like a bunch of geese flying around me. Not sure what the deal is with that, but it's about six degrees and snow everywhere, so I have no idea why the geese would be hanging out around here. All right, guys, that's it for today. Ended up with just the one, but I was actually super happy to get them. Uh, after fishing three hours, not catching a fish, and then missing a fish, uh, a fish like that, which not huge, but 19 inches. They're still a really nice walleye. Uh, it was pretty sweet. Um, 19 inches is about the standard for the fox, a lot of 17 to 20 inch stuff. Um, a lot of the really big ones like sit on the bay, but every now and then, you know, they'll swim in here and they'll be in here in the ice too. Uh, might have to come back for some white fish because I saw some guys catching them and marking them the whole time. And the guys who had the cameras on there said that they just saw a bunch of white fish. So, Hopefully that bike gets better and we have to come back for them. But yeah, it was still a great day of walleye fishing.